What's up, Michael here with Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a masonry style grid in Webflow very, very easily. Now, you can use this for static layouts, just like this one, or you can also use it for dynamic layouts that are pulling data from either the Webflow CMS or a third party API. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are in Webflow. And by the way, we post helpful content on Webflow just like this every single week. So if you find value out of this video, be sure to subscribe to see more content just like this. But there are two things you're gonna want to do. You're going to want to drop in a div. We are going to use this as a wrapper to put all of our images inside of. So I already have one here. It's just a standard div. If you go to the add panel, you can get a div right here, drag it in. The only thing you need to do as of now is you want to make sure your width is 100%. This just makes sure it's gonna span the whole width of the container. And then once that's done, simply drop in as many images as you need. Now for the images, you want to make sure they are all connected by the same class. So I have quite a few of images over here and you can, as you can see over in the navigator, they all have the exact same class applied. Now the only other Thing we're going to do really quick is on the images i like to set a width of 100 percent so once you have all of your images inside of the div you want to make sure you have the div selected your wrapper and then go over to the style panel and we want to go down to the typography section from here we want to make sure we open the more type options and you're going to see we have this one style called columns from here you simply enter the number of columns that you want your masonry grid to be divided into so back to this example, I have a three column masonry grid right here. So all I have to do is enter the number three, hit enter, and we literally have a masonry style grid that fast. Now, if we open up these three dots right beside the columns, we can control the gap. That is just the space between the images. So if I do two REMs, we increase the space between our images. As you can see though, we still have to add space underneath the images. We can't do that through this columns feature, but what we can do is simply select one of your images, go up and add a bottom margin to your image. So I'm going to add two REMs, the same as the horizontal gap for the columns, hit enter. And as you can see, we nicely have space above and beside all the images. And that is why I wanted you to connect all of your images with the same class. We can control the margin on top and bottom of all the images by changing the style on just one image. So it makes it really, really simple. And that is how you add a masonry style grid to the static layout. I'm now gonna show you how to add a masonry style grid to a CMS layout. And the process is gonna look pretty much identical if you are pulling in data from a third party API. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select our wrapper and I'm going to hide that real quick. And then I'm going to the add panel and then I'm going to drop in a CMS collection list block. And I'm gonna drop that right in my container. From here, I'm going to pick a source. I already have a collection, it's called photos, but you can use this for blog posts or whatever collection you have. And then on my collection list wrapper, I'm just gonna make sure this is 100% and you can give all these custom class names. I'm just gonna leave them by default for now. And then if we open up the list wrapper, we have the collection list. The collection list is going to be used in the same way as we used our masonry wrapper up here. So just to keep things simple, I'm gonna name this collection list wrapper. And then if we open this up, we have the collection item and this is where we are going to drop in an image block. So I'm gonna to go to the add panel, grab an image, and then I'm going to just drop it in one of these um, collection items. And then from here, I'm going to click on get image from photos, select field, and then select the photo. And then I'm just going to select the photo, call it collection item photo. And then I'm just gonna make sure the width is 100% again. And then now all we have to do is go to our wrapper, do the same thing that we did with our masonry wrapper and we go down to the typography settings, go to columns, and then we're gonna enter in three columns and it perfectly created our masonry style grid again. I'm going to add a two REM gap and then I'm going to select the collection item photo and I'm gonna add a two REM bottom margin. And there we go, we have a perfect masonry style grid. Now there's a quick thing I wanna show you about how your photos or collection items are going to be sorted in a masonry style grid. So what I'm going to, going to do is I'm gonna to go to the wrapper or the collection list wrapper, 
go over to the settings panel and I'm going to sort these collection items by created on the date. I'm going to do oldest to newest and then click on save. And we're now sorting all of the collection items from the oldest ones to the newest ones. So you might tend to think that it sorts it from left to right. So in other words, this is the first image and then this is the second image and then this is the third image in the list. However, it sorts it within its columns. So what I mean by that is this will be the first image, this is the second image, this is the third image, and then this is the fourth image. So it starts at the top of its column and then it goes down. With this specific setting, that's how it's gonna sort. So your second item in the collection list, if you are sorting it like this, will be right here. It will not be right here. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we post new uploads, which at this point is actually weekly. We post videos like this every single week. And also we are a Webflow development agency. So if you are a startup that is looking for Webflow development, there will be links in the description where you can get in contact with us.